Hello guys, this is Amel and welcome back to another awesome tutorial about MIPS assembly language. And well, last time I was showing you how to use the uh, branching branching statements in MIPS, like branch if equal, branch if not equal, etc. But uh, there's another statement, I mean another instruction that I want to show you. And uh, this instruction is set on less than or SLT. And set on less than is very important because it allows you to uh, compare two numbers and it's gonna tell you if if the first number is less than the second number so set on less than as the name implies if the first number is less than the second number then you're gonna get true or one so uh, create a new file new and save it to your desktop and the name is going to be SLT for set on less than. Save. As usual, we have that data and that text. So uh, let's say I want a message. And the message is going to be message. The data, data type that asks Z. And the number is less than the other. So this is going to be my message. So now I need to number. So add immediate, dollar sign T0, dollar sign 0, comma 1. And add immediate, dollar sign T1, dollar sign 0, comma, dollar sign um, 200. So I have one in T0 and 200 in T1. So now I want to compare. I want to know if the value in T0 is less than the value in T1. Of course you know that 1 is less than 200. But let's say if the computer can tell us. So what we do is that we use this command right here. SLT set less than and you also have set, set less than immediate, set less than unsigned immediate. So you know this is if you if you, instead of comparing two registers, you just want to compare the value in one register to to a constant to a number. Uh, but uh, we're gonna use uh, the first version, which takes two registers. So set less than. So it takes three arguments. You can see right here. Um, it takes T1, T2, T3, I mean three arguments. So let's say the sign is 0, the sign T0, the sign T1. So how does this work? So this is how it works. It, the first argument is a destination register. So the result, yes or no, is going to be stored in a 0. But you know it's going to be a number, it's not going to be it's not going to be like yes or no. So if it's yes, it's going to be 1. If it's no, it's going to be a 0. So false is going to be stored here or true is going to be stored here. In this case because 1 is less than 200, you know that this is going to be true. So 1 is going to be stored in a 0. So now you can do the following. Branch if equal dollar sign is zero dollar sign zero and then you specify the label so let's say you want to go to print message so this is this is saying okay okay so you know that if if t0 is less than t1 which is true then 1 is going to be stored here. So if if 1 is stored here, then it means that it is true. 1 is less than 200. And here uh, we say, if it is true, branch if equal, if, if this is equal to 0, in this case it's not going to be equal to 0 because we have 1. So it's go to print message. But in this case it's not going to go to print message. So uh, the number is less than the other. So we should change it to B and E, branch if not equal. So if this is not equal to zero, which means that, that this was true, then go to print message. As usual, 
we tell the system uh, this is end of program and never forget it's always good practice to make your main function or the, st the starting point and then we say load immediate dollar sign is 0 comma 10 Cisco and now we need another label because we wanted to make a, a label to go to and the label is going to be print message so print message so print message is going to be the following loading media the last time is 0 comma 4 to print text load address the last time is 0 comma message to load the address of the message and then print the message out so what this code is going to do is that okay we have two numbers right here we have 1 into 0 we have 201 so set on less than if if this is less than this so if 1 is less than 200 then store 1 here so if it is not less than 200 if it is false then it's going to be 0 here so if the value here uh, which was 1 is not equal to 0 it means that it means that it was true that there they are it, it, that t0 is less than t1 so go to this label and in the label we just print the message the number is less than the other and finally this right here is just telling the system that this is the end of main so we save and we run we assemble and we execute voila the number is less than the other so now let's change it let's say that we have 400 here and 200 here so it says is 400 less than 200 so is 400 in t0 less than 200 because that that's false you're gonna have zero here so it's gonna say if zero is not equal to zero go to print message but zero is equal to zero so it's not gonna come here so nothing is gonna be printed save run assemble execute wait yeah nothing was printed but let me show you again so let me clear you see nothing is printed it's blank why because as I told you set on less than it compares the values in these two registers if it is true that the value in T0 is less than the value in T1 then this is gonna be 1 if it is false then this is gonna be 0 because in this case um, 400 is not less than t than, than 200 then this is 0 and because 0 is equal to 0 they're equal then it's not gonna come here so uh, this is very important this is set on less than thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any questions please ask me I'll, I'll do my best to answer your questions and in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you more interesting stuff that you can do like I'm gonna show you pseudo instructions and pseudo instructions are gonna make your life easier so thank you for watching and see you next time